It's getting late. Where'd you now? Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Uh, hey, that's not very polite. <laughs> it's fine. You aren't the first guest to have that reaction. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Gerda family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. Eventually, he actually did it. Have you seen that stylish Goethe Hotel? Strictly speaking, it's a branch of this grand hotel. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit more first? a day or walk around a bit more first <sighs> time to rest again i hope there aren't any surprises this time that oleg he seems sincere what do you guys think mm. <sighs> happy now he's even starting to sound like you it has nothing to do with me, but if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ah, oh, fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the cosmic wild west. <laughs> Anyone else sleepy? You seem pretty exhausted. Don't overexert yourself. I'll do it. I'll keep watch. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you, it's just you're a Silver Mane Guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. Silver Mane Guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Kokolia. Oh, forget it. It's meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest. point of it all.
voice again. Such a strange dream. May as Who goes there? Show yourself. Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? I see. Thank you for being sincere. In itself, it's a comfort to me. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. And it bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. I don't need you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open. But the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the Underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman Guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong, but how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy, but he knows that better than I do. Think about it, the more disoriented I get, which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I, I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, uh, quieter things are around you, the louder they are. I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, Whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. The 
sides. Didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. <gasps> Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. <laughs> I'm grateful. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more... somehow. You don't know him at all yet, do you? You can't rely on people like Sampo when it's important. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around and causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anger isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up! I never said you could join us! People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> with you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. <sighs> Let me think. I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful, don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it, piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly! A rule of the Silvermane Guards! Don't apply your rules to us. My friend! We're here. 
This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Let's go and watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are probably some monsters around. We can't see anything here. Let's find higher ground to get a better view. that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Uh, never mind. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivet Town's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Careful! Enemies ahead. These aren't like vagrants. They won't... Don't treat me like a... So you are afraid of me. Let's make it quick. Tough luck running into me! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Looks good. A uh, restaurant? <laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. You thought you would bring the kids who behaved well here for a special meal. So, did she ever bring you? <laughs> Do I seem like I was a goody two shoes? Of course not. <laughs> with me. This is our chance. You'll pay for this. Reach the end of the story in your own way. The facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape. Not those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little... Could people still be living here? So you are afraid of me.
Reach the end of the story in your own way. Unavoidable. for this. Go. This battle is unavoidable. The time is now. Lend me your strength. What a headache. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Don't mess 
with me. You'll pay for this. You have the worst luck running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's make it quick. Batter up! This battle is unavoidable. The time is now! Lend me your strength! My turn! With me out here, how can we lose? What a headache! We must fight! Protect! You can't stun! Gotta try hard sometimes! Check out this awesome move! This is our chance. Uh, rules are made to be broken! Let's go. What about this? <laughs> Let's make it quick. Let's go.
this is our chance. I told you I could fight. <laughs> this battle is unavoidable. Evil doer. You'll pay for this. Let's make it quick. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Let's go. to me. Watch this! This battle is unavoidable. Evil doer. This is our chance. Uh, rules are made to be broken! Let's go. You'll pay for this.
all be empty. Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. Mm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Keep at it. end of the story in your own way. Pay for this. This is 
is our chance. This is our chance. Stop this! You have the worst luck running into me! Of me. Yes. Let me end your misery. This battle is unavoidable. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Evil doer. Looks good. Keep at it. Keep at it. Pay for this.
Looks good. and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you gonna get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um, there's always a way. So polite to him. Everyone in the underworld knows this brat is a no good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh, Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. 200. What? Uh, 200 shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Not much, but I didn't bring my coin purse. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really need money. My daddy... Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! <laughs> Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here, you can have this. What? What's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. Hey, thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I... I promise I'll never steal things again. Deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Thank you, whoever you are. You guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh, right! Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Got it. Thanks for the tip. That object was pretty important to you, 
right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way. This is the street, all right. The orphanage should be at the end. These shops and sign. The entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Maybe some things will still look familiar. These stairs, they seem to have become more... Almost there. I didn't expect this place to be so well preserved. You know, if we could have worked together to push back the front... <sighs> we made it! It's been so long, but this place hasn't changed one bit. It looks like there's a lot of stuff popping. Hey, where are you going? Let's look around the orphanage first. These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <sighs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? <laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. <sighs> no. No. <sighs> empty. How are they all empty? Who could have... Careful! Enemy behind you! I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is it for you, pal! <sighs> Great. I'll free you from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past! Let's go. Stay right there while I give you a present! <laughs> We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them! There's always a weakness. Evil doer. Let's make it quick. What about this? You have the worst luck running into me. I try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Don't mess with me! think I could do it? But still, fighting alongside you two was pretty fun. 
<sighs> Should be all clear now. Let's poke around. The kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here. If I remember it right, there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there. I just hope the monster didn't get to them. It wasn't my imagination. <sighs> huh? What are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? I've seen it all before. <laughs> what? Come on, the overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over 10 years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. Wait, unless before that... Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on, I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure. Found this. Here, take it. What is this? A brooch? <sighs> Natasha would often teach us how to make different handicrafts. This must be some kid's masterpiece. And why give it to me? You gave your medal to that kid, Eric. This thing might not be as valuable, but it's at least a replacement of sorts. But didn't someone work hard to make this? I can't just take it from here. <sighs> you sure are prissy, huh? Just take it. first. What's up here? Some kind of toy? Yep. You pick. Red or blue? Hmm. Blue. <laughs> Look at this. After over 10 years, the teeth marks are still here. Teeth marks? <laughs> All right, well, this one time, a big kid was trying to steal this toy from me. I could not wrestle him for it, so I just bit down hard and hung on for dear life. Hmm, how boorish. Ugh, the swing is covered in dust. Hey, don't sit on it. It's filthy. Ah, <sighs> it sure brings back memories. I still remember one time I swung super high and everyone was scared I would fly off. Who knew swinging could be so intense? At the time, I wanted to swing myself into the sky and fly up to the overworld. So dangerous. You're lucky to have lived till now. <laughs> Aren't we all, though? We've looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. We found it! Great! It's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Hmm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... This is... Something from when I was a child. <sighs> When you were a child? Are you sure? No. I remember now. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away. Be, 
before Madame Cocolia adopted me, I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. You're an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... Uh... Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the Architects. In the future, I will become the Guardian who leads Bellabog. <sighs> Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so... blurry. No. Mother would never do that to me. There's no way she would. The architect said that the Guardian's successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the Overworld and the Underworld will be tested. In the end, only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. I... I must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. The kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does Nat know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. And thus, I became the daughter of Madame Cocolia. My only identity is that of guardian successor. But I'm not good enough. Every day I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum. But I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The Underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. Uh, what? What? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal, or survive to the next week? Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Sila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? Um, I, as the successor to the Guardian of Bellabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. I should let those two be alone for a bit. 
the only thing left to find is painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. Don't mention it, Clara. Warning. Warning. Danger detected. Protect, Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't! Stop! I've seen this person before. He... he's not bad, right? Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. Oh! I came here for these painkillers, too. There are a lot of people hurt at the Vagrant Camp. I guess the miners are no different? <sighs> if everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Mr. Svara, he... he's my family. I met Mr. Svarag when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Svarog doesn't trust any humans besides me, especially everyone from Wildfire. He heard that the miners and vagrants had begun to engage in a large-scale conflict. He wanted to stop everyone from getting hurt fighting over the mines. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground. But Mr. Svarov wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. No, there can't be. Mr. Svarag is healthy. His system is always being maintained. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Svarag, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Svarag won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Svarag. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. Clara, what are you doing here? You're... Miss Sela from Wildfire. I came here to... Why are you helping the vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no, it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp. So I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. <laughs> Miss Sila? Did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then... Can you give me some? The Vagrant's injuries are quite serious. I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know not, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Great! Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And I have some more things I need to look for here first. Understood. 
Be careful, though. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, painkillers. Great, that's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back. Nothing if not punctual. Hmm. So, did you find any usable supplies? Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, rubbing alcohol. Oh, perfect, that's everything I needed. Huh. It's just, there are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? Clara? Huh. If she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. <laughs> I think you made the right decision. <sighs> Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. <laughs> I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. So you guys aren't that close after all? I thought you were sworn friends. <laughs> oh, you're adorable, Branya. He was obviously joking. I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. <sighs> huh? Tired already? <laughs> Aren't you? We didn't get any rest last night. You're gonna have to step it up, you know? My record is six days, no shut-eye. Barely sat still since they left. <laughs> it's good to have everyone back together. Let me get straight to it. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. The last time I saw Kokolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian, all I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Rest easy. Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, but at least you're offering a road forwards. We Underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Maybe it is, but I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the Underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. <laughs> he 
wouldn't understand. You're forgetting he's a robot. It'd be faster to smash him to scrap metal. We should make preparations for both approaches. Of course, it's better to settle matters through peaceful means, but if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarok without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarog's robots don't fear sacrifice. And I don't want to risk underworld lives. But things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Svarog. I may not have the full picture, but perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. That would be best. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely. But I fear that Svara just isn't the swaying type. You'll understand when you get to his territory. Things never run smoothly down here. And what about you, Miss Silvermane? You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svara. I'd like to hear your plan. Well, the Underworld is still a part of Belabog. If Svarag's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady. And spoken like a true successor to the Guardianship. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svarag. Wildfire's relationship with Svarag has been hostile for a long time now. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss. wasn't expecting. So, the moles are a part of wildfire. Ah, uh, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. What do you want? <laughs> Kiddo, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I will be your guide, friends, by order of Chief Oleg. I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy Sampo. All right, all right, don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Uh, my specialty's in the field, perhaps. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? You've been inside? No, but I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. That's not nice. Wildfire made a request and I got on with a job. My legacy will prove that Sempo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of... Oh, enough. Jeez, we believe you, okay? Show us the way already. Great. Stay close. Oh, Sampo, are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? Two more steps, just two more steps, and you're there. This is Sparog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. Turns out it's pretty busy. Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? No. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. <laughs> if I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now.
Happy Gabe. Uh, okay, watch this. Open Sesame! Is that a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. I was just about to get into those, before Miss March's colorful attempt. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. Uh, certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A timeout. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Svorog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Not a clue. <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarog suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. Don't take Swarag as an ordinary robot. He's, uh, special. one of them, right? It looks so... lame. Is it even awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. <laughs> that scared me. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Huh? Are we starting now? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Infernal Construction what now? How would we know anything about that? Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh, what did it say again? <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. We might just hit the jackpot. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Yo, yo, listen up. This one's for all you pretend rappers. Internal Combustion Engine Champion 88 Degrees Bedrock. Repping the dawn of the underworld rap. Here's something to wake up your soul. Check it. The light of the moon of a city of snow. Alas, this place is a bit of a mixed bag. Plenty of characters. Keep your wits about you, friends. Don't let anyone deceive you. It's a... No, no, no! You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. How do you know? 
bow away from Miner's lamp said that you need to pay attention to the interfaces when assembling relics. To make this thing move again, we need to connect the microcrystalline unit to the operating brake module. Otherwise, it's just a pile of scrap metal. If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done for. The last time he acted on his own advice, he electrocuted himself. You should be asking people with real smarts. No one is better at fixing machines than Marev. I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic control hub to get a vibrating drill to work. <laughs> Marev? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real relic if it hit him in the face. Last I heard, he got scammed by someone selling counterfeit junk. Ah, you're just salty, my friend. Did you hear? Those idiots got into a fight in the mine. <laughs> it only got settled after Boss Svarok showed up. I said it before. Only Boss Svarog can protect us down here. Everyone should follow his lead. Well, what do you think? Cat got your tongue? Do you ever talk about anything else? I'm so tired of hearing about Svarog. But, but it's true. What else is there to say? Hey, take a look at all these good for nothing. Still, you're nearly fixed. My design has been superseded by newer models. My components are no longer valuable. Hey, what are you talking about? I'm not interested in selling your components. Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Correct answer. Certification result. Success. Requisite certifications remaining. Two. Please extend your right hand. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the... Oh, hey, hey, ow, ow, ow! So this is the certification mark? Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Ugh, I'm so sick of repeating this. Huh? What did this bucket of bolts just say? <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. Listen up. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? Huh? Lucky guess. Ugh, now I have to do this again. Put your hand out. Huh? Me again? It hurts, you know. Huh? Ow. There, one step left. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify our certifications. Hmm, there's something wrong with this one. Protocol. Init nish 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 nish. Initialization failure. Attempting system restoration. Not encouraging. System restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. Threat elimination activated. Initializing combat module. Finally, no more racking our brains. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker. Don't mess with me. Uh, rules are made to be broken. 
Try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please extend your right hand. Oh, why is it always me? Ah, ah, ah. How come it hurt even more than the other two? Well, at least that's the final step. We can get in now, right? <laughs> Our odd certification system is no match for us. This better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. So bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I'll commend you to the chief. No need to waste your time. All right. Well, let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. Ooh, did. Anyone hear what I just said? A gate? Oh, why is there another gate here? It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Uh, huh? Sampo? Oh, where is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. <sighs> this isn't the first time. It's that same type of robot again. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zbarog detected. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. How is that going to improve our chances? Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Ms. Clara. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? Family. Huh, weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. Hmm. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core's bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. To me, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? We were just there. Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Uh, it wasn't as fun as you think. In 
deep. And that little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself. That, that doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. This is a big town. Where should we start? Claire said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. that was following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh, it's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self-repair module. Initialization failure. Clara, in danger. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop, target, must be in. Does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. Just as we feared, there's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. We have to save her. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. for this. 
The time is now. Lend me your strength. What a headache. Are you okay, Clara? Are you hurt? Th thanks, everyone. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. Huh? What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But... Mr. Svarag doesn't like talking to others. Especially wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Um, I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarg doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarag and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid, you... Uh, Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know Mr. Svarag. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. But terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarok thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the Underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous! What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? I'm sorry. I really can't help you with this. Um... If you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. We'll have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so... stubborn? No. Intelligent? Oh, she's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Did you really have to add that last part? It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. If we circumvent Clara in the gate, Svarog will only identify us as intruders. He'll be even more likely to give us the cold shoulder. Robot shoulder cold to begin with. Clara mentioned Svarag's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. So, you think Svarag's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. Hmm, precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, 
we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation. And we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? <sighs> There's always a way. But first, we have to convince Clara. Mm. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. She turned that way, quick! Keep looking. story in your own way. Good. Chains. 
disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past! Let me end your misery. What a headache. Who's next? Let's go. You'll pay for the- <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Hmm. Why won't it- Ah. I can't figure it out. Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. You keep saying that, but... Are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack? Huh? How did you know? The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. You replaced the damaged components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out, right? Yeah, I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Svarog helping you? I don't want to disturb him. This installation was accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Svarog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Ah, I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. And there's a misalignment. You two, give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. More fixing? I'm getting good at this. Can we really fix this? Relax, we got this. Right, Don Hung? Less asking, more helping. Whoa, it lit up. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no need. We hardly lifted a finger. So. The settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Um... I understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. You're good people. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... Uh, how are we gonna convince her? The variable is... Uh, our arrival! No outsider set foot in the underground for over a decade! Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? Well, uh, you do look very different from other people. Right! That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Svarog's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was... A long time ago. The same time the underworld was sealed off. I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a silver main guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... There's just no way that Svarog's calculations would have included variables like us, you know? Different planet? Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made-up stories that grown-ups like to tell. 
I don't... Hey. He and Marge aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya, Do you really? I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and he, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Let them meet Svarag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? Mm. I... Uh, okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarog. Really? Awesome! Mm, I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarog's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes, and fighting. Just like in the mine. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Svarog, then I need to be brave too. Everyone, follow me. Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. It was nothing, I just said what I truly felt. Unavoidable. Evil doer. Don't mess with me. Let me end your misery. Who's next? You'll pay for this. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Uh, rules are made to be broken! Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past! My turn! With me out here, how can we lose? What a headache. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them! Don't try hard, hard sometimes. Me. Check out this awesome move! <laughs> what a headache.
evil doer. Unavoidable. The time is now. Lend me your strength. Don't mess with me. I can Try that again. You have the worst luck running into me. Told ya I could fight. Stay right there while I give you a present.
Timmy. Welcome back, Miss Clara. Timmy, open the gate, please. I want to see Mr. Sparrow. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? It's okay. They're all my guests. Command received. Access restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Oh, uh, if you can, please try not to upset Mr. Sparrow. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Are you ready? I'm back, Mr. Sparrow. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Sparrow, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. Said question lacks the necessary context to be answered. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Stellaron. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. You are approaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron, but it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already! Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed. Attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target threat index critical. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. There is no evidence to suggest you are an exception. Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. Extermination? In the literal sense? These thoughts are over. March, prepare for combat. Mr. Sparrow, please don't. Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three, monitoring automaton Svarag. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. Execute. You're annoying! Calculating result. Stay alert. With me out here, how can we lose? Hm. <laughs> 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 
You'll pay for this. Put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield. All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. Nat, uh, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high-risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. Execute annihilation. Calculating result. Oh, great. I'll free you from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them! Ah, oh, great. Let's go. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Let's make it quick. Uh, rules are made to be broken! This battle is unavoidable. <laughs> Stay right there while I give you a present! Go. Better up. You have the worst luck running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? Don't mess with me. Who's next? Scratch. You can't. Executing operation. Try that again. What a headache. Let's make it quick. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Let's go. Ha! Calculating result. You can't run! Value exceeds threshold. Try that again! Don't mess with me! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! What a heck! Let's make it quick. Uh, rules 
Operation. Ugh, great. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them! Or try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past! Ugh, great. Let's go. How about this? Analysis complete. Try that again. High risk individual. Better up. This battle is unavoidable. Hmm. Don't mess with me. Calculating result. What a heck. You'll pay for this. Evil doer. Executing operation. Don't mess with me. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them! I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past! What a headache. This battle is unavoidable. Uh, rules are made to be broken! You'll pay for this. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Calculating result. Don't mess with me. Transmission blocked. Unavoidable. Evil doer. Annihilate all individuals. Uh. Let's go. What about this? Perhaps you must protect. Calculating result. Don't mess with me. Rules are made to 
to be broken! I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past! Clara, you, Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Please, please don't hurt him. Clara. Mr. Sparrow, don't push yourself any further. Can you tell them what you know? Mr. Sparrow, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? My biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together. Like, like family. Recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness, even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful. People still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable one. Clara's request. Variable two. Outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So... so we did it? His memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did... Did we win? No, Zila. Our battle. Their battle. It's just beginning. Feel the truth. I'm listening. I have finished collating the Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed, outsiders? Requesting database materials cache, serial number 13175. Encryption level, highest. Request approved. Transmission. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so-called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, Madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabog's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. 
I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless... Unless what? Please, proceed, madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day... A day when you do understand. The Supreme Guardian, she, she sees further than you or I. Oh. Your decisions are not for the security of Bellabog. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <laughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. When you find a way to destroy... <laughs> Destroy the Stellaron. Our efforts will have been worth it. Cache number 24830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 57614. This is. Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the Underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, Madam. I'm sorry, Doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the Architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cash number 57614. Transmission complete. Concluding data transmission. So, the truth is clear now, right? <gasps> and it would appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just feel a little faint. Why? Why, Mother? Maybe, maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she... I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. <sighs> Hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. The Furnace Core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the Underworld. Now, we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Well, you should really be thanking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? 
Huh? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. A person is defined by their actions alone. I think that's how the saying goes. <laughs> if the underworld recovers its freedom, the people will see you as heroes. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the Furnace Core, there's no way that we undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the underground. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. Of course, there's no doubt about that. So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Zila! Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. You're right. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. has shaken the scales of power. Worlds will change, and thus, equilibrium. You will encounter stronger enemies, harder puzzles, and greater rewards after equilibrium. You will go on to face yet more trials. It is your choice to make, but in the end, equilibrium will be upheld. 
you will obtain more. More of the material. More of the spiritual. More of the countable. More of the immeasurable. What is obtained will be in proportion to your strength. And thus, in equilibrium. Equilibrium. It is for this that all worlds change. 